Anyone who reads the newspapers will regularly see scary headlines that predict that machines will take over their work. And indeed, the robot is coming. Even though automation has been going on for years, there are more and more machines that can also make decisions independently. A hammer that can do all of the thinking and all of the measuring itself does not really need a carpenter anymore. And we are building more and more of these types of machines. And that will probably mean that many jobs will disappear and that other jobs will change. My name is Mark Levels, and together with Raymond Montizan, we are researching how automation and AI affect work, economies and societies. First and foremost, this is happening. A 2019 study found that 60% of all companies plan to automate more and that 99% of all companies are preparing their organization for the future of work. Consequences can be huge. In principle, the more routine tasks a job has, the easier it is to automate. Employees in factories or folks in warehouses picking orders will probably lose their jobs. But jobs that we never thought could be automated, like doctors, lawyers, accountants, notaries, are now also at stake, and maybe even artists and poets. In one of the first results of our study, we find that even the most apocalyptic scenarios might actually become a reality. And we don't think that they're very plausible, but they're actually possible that about 47% of all jobs might actually be destroyed. However, there is no need for panic. Although progress is speedier than many people think, many technical and organizational hurdles have to be overcome. Change will come eventually, but when it does, we can probably manage it. Here is the thing. A large part of today's jobs will actually change fundamentally. If you can figure out to ensure that people have the skills needed on the labor market of tomorrow, that will be fine. However, we do not know yet which skills people will actually need or how they can best be learned. And we also do not understand how all these developments will affect social inequalities. Who will benefit from this? Who will benefit from automation? Who will lose? Which social groups are affected? We don't know. And we also do not know how to best respond. Which policies will be effective? This is why we founded Technoquality, to answer these really big questions with the best possible scientific research. To do that, we founded a consortium of really great scholars who are all leading in their specific disciplines. Together, we answer tomorrow's big questions. And within Technoquality, we also work closely with policymakers to figure out what our findings mean for concrete policies. We aim to infuse the policy process with scientific evidence so we can all best prepare societies and economies for the future.